Kale, the practitioner here, I have to correct an older video I posted uh, called Rhea Penn and Teller Bullshit, uh, New Age Medicine Part 1. I was uh, only right in one aspect of the criticisms I made of that show. The argument where Penn and Teller proceeded to uh, quote a study on lower back pain, which actually showed that acupuncture was no more effective than placebo, and then proceeded later in the show to call acupuncture a placebo for all medical treatments, was incorrect in the fact that they used a hasty generalization fallacy. They used an experiment testing um, the acupuncture as a treatment for one ailment, categorizing it to all ailments. Now, while the conclusion, uh, like I said, the chain of logic they used to get there was a hasty generalization fallacy, and they should have used a meta-analysis or literature review. That being said, I have to now agree with their conclusions about acupuncture being a placebo uh, at large. Um, if you take a look at the older video, I'll be posting the link uh, below accordingly, you'll notice that I um, quoted in the original video some studies by the World Health Organization, uh, you know, meta-analysis by the World Health Organization, a study from the Canadian Medical Association Journal, and a um, couple of other references, including an uh, analysis done by Dr. Michael Shermer, uh, who is a skeptic. <coughs> um, I've done some more recent reading since those particular uh, incidents were published, and uh, after having had a bit of a discussion over email with Dr. Steve Novella, it turns out that uh, some of the more recent stuff, including the Cochrane reviews, etc., turned out to be biased in their own right as well. Uh, acupuncture, uh, it's actually very interesting. Uh, I will be posting the final results where you can get all the data below. Uh, it's the skeptic.com entry to acupuncture, which has finally been updated. Here's what's interesting, however. According to the, uh, according to the uh, article, acupuncture works no better than placebo. However, what's interesting is that apparently acupuncture as a placebo in some cases works better than other types of placebo. So this opens a whole new can of worms in its own right in placebo research, which the article covers very well. So I hope you guys take a look at the article and uh, realize that I'm making a correction to an earlier one. But let me make myself clear. I am agreed now with my fellow skeptics that acupuncture is nothing but a placebo. However, Penn & Teller still used a, a logical fallacy in making that claim when they did their episode. So I was only half right in that video, not completely right. I wonder if me being a half right makes me a half wit. I'll leave that for you guys to decide. Peace.